What's going on everybody on YouTube? Griffin here from Millennial Motivation Entrepreneur coming back to you all with another informative video. If you're new to me and just wondering what the channel is about, no it's not just for millennials whatsoever. Um, it's just for anyone looking to achieve financial freedom, get out of those J-O-Bs, just over brokes as I like to call them. So if you're into that and that intrigues you, definitely consider checking out my playlist and subscribing below. But we'll get right to it everyone. Um, like I said in the video, we're just going to talk about the best way to get the most out of your Robinhood trading account with day trading specifically and I'll go ahead and get my calculator pulled up here for you guys because I'm gonna have to use it some for this um, but anyways let me get it pulled over here um, and we'll talk about a stock or two too just because I mean what's a stock video without talking about stocks right but anyway so the best way to go about day trading with Robinhood is to use a cash account because Robinhood instant and gold from what it sounds like one gold I believe you have to have like 25,000 or a thousand 25,000 or a thousand dollars maybe for instant too in your account before you can even like use it So for people starting with under a thousand dollars a cash account is for sure the best way to go no matter what but with a cash account also um, It's like you can do unlimited amount of day trades as long as you have the buying power to do so whereas with instant and maybe even gold too but I know with instant you can only do like three day trades a week or something like that or every three days like just not very many and I mean this limits you to more of like swing trading versus day trading so with a cash account you're pretty much limitless as long as you have buying power you can make in as many trades as you want so that's reason number one and reason number two is just I mean it's just so much more simple to me like I don't want Robin Hood giving me money essentially like marginal account which is like what the instant and um, gold does for you essentially they'll like double your buying power essentially which I just I mean to me it almost seems like you're in debt to Robin Hood so it's like no nah, I'll pass on that I just like using my own money if I don't have the money I don't need to be trading at that time is how I see it but other people have their thoughts on it but now how are you going about doing trading with a cash account so I mean it is different of course but um, how it works is like say today is Friday when I'm shooting this video Friday the 13th I don't think or I mean 16th I don't think you can see it because the subscribe things down here but so let's say I made some trades Friday which I did so whatever I trade Friday is not going to be available till Tuesday it takes like a whole day for it to be back in your account for the funds to settle essentially so I'd be able to trade two day trade Tuesday and Thursday and then the following week I'd be able to trade Monday Wednesday Friday and I was doing it where I would split my account where that way I'd be able to day trade every single day but if you do the math on it because like me right now I'm at about five hundred dollars so let's say you take that 250 I went over this in my live stream as well but I don't know if you all caught that video so if you take the 250 times the average of just 5% a day which isn't a lot but 5% a day so you're gonna make 1250 and let's say you do that times five days a week you're gonna have about 62 obviously compounding interest I know whatever but let's say you just make 6250 essentially so then you then take your 6250 essentially and let's go ahead and say that instead you did 500 times your 5% so right there you're at 25 and now let's say you do it Monday Wednesday Friday that first week so right off the bat you already outdid that entire five days and three days amount of work instead of 62 let's go ahead and say you even get 68 let's go ahead and give you an extra five bucks for compounding interest whatever so let's say you still made seven dollars more off of two days less of work that's the kind of that's how my mind works I use math I don't use logic I did use logic when I first started but when I sat down and actually did the math I was like why the hell am I dividing my account and making myself work more when I can be studying doing videos going out and making more money to add to my account and then yes of course you're gonna have a short week so let's say after that first week you're now at 575 times your 5% so you're now at 2875. So yes, you only get to do it two days that week. Boo hoo, you're still at fifty-seven to sixty dollars. So I mean you're pretty much where you would have been if you so then that next week you're let's say you make even seventy dollars a day, or not a day for the whole week. I mean, you're still you still only did two days of work versus five and you're not even that much short on that week. 
So, I mean, it's just a thought process. It's just using math instead of logic. Yes, in reality, if you were using the same amount every single day, it'd be better. But with Robinhood, obviously, that's the perks of using a free, no trade commission account. Now, obviously, you can use TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, whichever you may wish to use. I don't know which ones allow you to day trade, all of them off the top of my head. But then you're going to be paying pretty much $10 per full trade because you're going to pay your $4.95 going in, you're going to pay your $4.95 going out, and I mean, it's just not worth it to me at least, especially with a smaller account. I personally probably won't even do it until I'm at least around five to 10000 maybe even more. Who knows? We'll see as we cross that bridge. But um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make this video about that specifically for you guys, and I just wanted to give you guys kind of a stock to be on the lookout for real quick as well for those of you that stayed through this whole video. You guys is the one we're going to be talking about today. I'll go ahead and zoom back here to the five day. As you can see, it had a sell off here, started going back up, had another sell off um, the other day, yesterday, on what Thursday. And that was a pretty big sell off actually. It hit a low of 55.91. So if we go ahead and zoom in just on the last two days, a lot of people thought it did bounce right here. And I'm kind of holding out on it because, I mean, yes, it did go up about $2 at one point. So, I mean, if you got in around the low, let's say you got in at 56, you'd have made $2. Let's go ahead and do $2 on 56. That's what, like 4% maybe somewhere on there? Um, no, not that. $2. God damn it. Two dollars divided by fifty-six, so you made yeah about three and a half to four percent profit. So I mean you'd have made some good profits in about a day, but I mean me personally, I kind of feel like we're gonna see possibly another sell-off. Maybe not quite like this, but I mean we might see a little dip. Um, but if, however, if it does break above say this new um, resistance around fifty-eight dollars. If it goes through and hits above fifty-eight, I do look forward to tr go on and trim back up, probably to somewhere around sixty to sixty-one. So I mean, even then, you're not looking at huge profits, but you're looking still around three to four percent. So I mean, you guys is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Um, I would talk about more, but I mean, I could talk about all these stocks all day. Gush is another one. Snapchat with what's been going on with it lately. Um, with the whole Rihanna news now, Snapchat just can't stay out of the news. I mean, it's good for us day traders because we catch it as going down. Let's go ahead and look at it because I'm intrigued by it. Snapchat, as you can see, always in the, you can pretty much tell when Snapchat's in the news. You'll see a sell-off, then you'll see a rise, then a sell-off, then you'll see a rise. So, I mean, Snapchat just can't stay out of the news. So, I mean, it's good for us traders. I mean, if you'd have caught it down here around 17, sold it off for even 17.30, I mean, you'd make money if you'd caught it down here around 1750, sold it off around 18, essentially pretty close, like 1790. You'd make some good profit there. Nothing huge, probably like four to seven percent somewhere around there. But I mean, still, I mean, four to seven percent is a good profit, guys. So I mean, just like I said, stocks to be on the lookout for. Um, out of the two, I definitely look at. What was it? U gas, if I remember right. I look at U gas the most. D gas, you can also look at too. D gas is obviously the inverse ETF of U gas. So as U gas goes up, D gas tends to go down. Um, D gas, if you'd have caught it at the bounce here, um, I wish I had seen that and wish that my account was where it is now. Because if I would have caught it as at the bounce, I probably would have invested in around twenty-seven fifty. Rode that puppy up to twenty-nine dollars. Would have made what? about a dollar fifty let's do the math on that oh i think i x on my calculator well either way that's like roughly like what at least five to ten percent profit guys i mean that's just huge at the end of the day so if you caught that congratulations to you but yeah d gas and you guys if you're wanting those are in fact in fact inverse etfs so definitely look out for them for sure and then snapchat like i said always in the news so just keep on alert with that for sure but hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, definitely make sure to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And like I said, if you're new to me and like this video, definitely consider checking out my other videos. I have like 140 or something like that now. So definitely consider checking those out in my channel. Um, but until next time, guys, keep on going out there and making those profits, achieving some financial freedom this year. And I'll see you guys in the next video.